and Sonich has pitched the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, strike three. And deals here to Pearson. This one is swung on and popped up sky high, very deep to left field. Might be trouble. Frost is back, and he makes the grab at the wall for the final out here in the second inning. The one-two pitch. Strike three outside corner. Scotty Sunich strikes out the side. Nobody out here in the third. Runner on here for the Cougs. The one-one is put the other way through the hole in right. Chapman will hang on at second. And there are two on and nobody out. And the 0-1 pitch swung on and lifted into right field. Might be deep enough. Celsi slides in and makes the grab. Tagging up from third is Chapman. The throw is offline, and there is the first run of the game. The 1-1 pitch swung on and lined right into the mid of Matheny, who gloves it to end the fourth. The 1-0 from Dupre is lifted up into left field. Frost is underneath it, makes the grab. He throws it home. The throw is on target, and Frost puts it right on the line and guns down Pearson from third. What a cannon by Frost in left. There's an exclamation point. The 0-1 is chopped hard, fair down the first base line, and it goes all the way into foul territory down the corner in right. In the second with a stand-up double is Shane Matheny. Here comes the 0-2. Off the end of the bat, there's a single right up the middle. Frost went out to reach for it. Everybody hangs on as they advance one base here. The pitch. Breaking ball swung on and lifted to center field. Knapp goes back, makes the grab. Runners will tag in advance, and one run scores. And the 2-0 from Neely. Swung on and chopped right side, dive for him by McGrath. Flips it to Neely covering first. A beauty of a play by McGrath, the senior. The 3-2 pitch is swung on and pulled through the hole in left for a base hit and an RBI. If that doesn't sum up Patrick McGrath's senior season, nothing does.